Welcome in, welcome in, welcome back to the Crypto Bully Bet channel where there's only fun decoding and no financial advice. And yes, we're going to get back into these little riddle biddle diddles here. All right. So I'm, now I said I was going to go over some tweets, okay? So this is the guy that I'm going over some of his tweets. So this is just Gematria stuff, okay? This is pretty much self-explanatory over here. There's some stuff over here. Um... So over here is what I like, all right? So my thing is I think that we're going to have some some type of runoff with the banks in October. And I feel like we're going to have a really big movement in November, okay? has to be this year. I'm thinking November time. I'm just going to explain some of the tweets and stuff that I've seen. But just to go over some of these, if you want, you can go over. There's his name again. All right? And you can have you can just pause it or whatever. Let me see some of these tweets here. Hold on. All right, so let me explain the dates first. And then when I say the dates first, so you don't have to actually get stuck throughout this whole video. I'm just going to cut it to the chase. I'll tell you the dates. Um, I'm saying to look out for October. Since <sighs> October 13th, maybe. Maybe October 13th we see something with the banks. Only because... That's in the Libra season, right? And that's with scales. And if it's with scales, that means balance. And if it's balance, I'm thinking something with banks maybe pops off with banks something in October time, around that time. Um, the 21st, I think it's a big day is because the flux capacitor. I don't know. You said 1.21 gigawatts. And they made it an emphasis to talk about that episode. So... To me, I'm thinking that October 21st might be another day. Plus, on top of that, we were talking about the jackpot, right? Being 21 and then 777 adds up to 21. So, October 21st would be a perfect mirror reflection. If you drop the zero, it would be 1, 2, 1. And then you have 7 for the year. So, that's another date that I like in October. Um, And... The 31st, like I said before in the other videos, in the in the movie The Batman, you had them spraying uh, the word broke on the banks on Halloween. That was just 1031. And like I said before, on the money, there's a clock that says 1031 on the money. I don't know why it says 1031 on the money, but maybe that has to be a symbol or a date. Maybe there's something happens with gold or I don't know. But let's just see what happens. But I think something with banks and maybe gold or precious metals, something happens in October time. And I believe that we have some type of takeoff in November. And like a movement. Not like you're going to moon and you're going to go move to another island, okay? Now, don't get, don't get excited like that. But finally see some type of movement because all we've been seeing is price depreciation, okay? And that's what happens when the phoenix is burning, all right? Hold on. And so now the dates that I think that are going to pop off is November 5th, November 6th, November 7th. OK, those are the dates that I really like. Um, and I'll tell you why I like those dates. If I believe that the Phoenix was burning over there in Maui, Howie over there. Right. If I believe this started burning on 8, 8, I counted 88 days out, 88 days out would be. November 4th, okay? Now, remember, these guys were talking about, remember, remember the 5th of November, right? And all this other stuff. So, the 5th of November is actually the 89th day after these fires over there. And then you got 90. That's the birth. So, you got to understand, too, is nine. the number 9 is uh, symbolizes birth. And then you got 91. So, that's the 7th day. And I'll explain why those are pretty... Uh, dates that I like to look at is because, first of all, remember, remember the 5th of November, there's a big firework that day, the Fox fireworks, the old school fireworks things, right? That's celebrated on the 5th of November. I believe that, you know, since Metallicus is, uh, is very colorful and fireworks are colorful, I think we're going to have a blast off. Now, if you go back to, a shout out to Professor Frank, uh, he threw out that little, uh, that little clip to me and it brought back a few things. Um, he, Threw that clip at that doc when he was in the DeLorean. He was trying to go back to nineteen uh, November 9th, 1955. That's when he invented time travel. He invented time travel on November 5th, 1955. Now, I'm going to show you 
right now how David Schwartz gave away this date. Okay? David. Now, if you don't believe that the lotus flower is connected to this, then this is not going to make sense to you, but the lotus flower is connected. And let me just show you a tweet from David Schwartz also. With that being said, that was from Dark Knight. Over here, he's got Proton. He's got 588, okay? So there's your 88 day again, right? And then we're ending. See how this is kind of crazy? I didn't even... I'm not kind of freestyling right now. I don't know, I'm not sure what the 5 is representing right here. But I know the 5 has some type of value. But the, you got the 88 number there. That's when those little fires started. And then if you flip this, you get 89, right? And that's 89 days out, which I, that is November 5th, okay? Now, November 5th is the 89th day, okay? And just looking at some of these over here, some of these protons, and I'll show you some other ones. They were coming up with 98. And I was like, oh, wow, that matches up with 89. That couldn't be a moon date. All right. Um, I was going to also say um, November 6th is a Monday. So November 6th is also 911, right? That's because we know it as 11 and 9. So 911. And then the 7th is also 711. So those are really big dates. On top of that, like I said, you got 89. I'm not sure if 89 means destruction, but that would be really awesome if it did because 90 means. A birth. So 89 would mean destruction. 90 would mean birth. And 91 would mean, it. Uh, sorry, it means the phoenix. 91 it equals the phoenix. So that shows a nice breakdown, birth, and then rise within the phoenix. And those numbers are really popping up. So, and like I said, you get 911, you get 711, and you get November 5th. And we know that David Schwartz also, remember he tweeted out uh, Roku figure out um uh professor frank also reminded me also that um he had mentioned you should figure out what the roku channel is right before november 4th or something like that so they're showing you hints about november and november and stuff like that let's get to the david schwartz tweet all right so this tweet right over here which sounds amazing which would someone have to pay you the most to eat now, this just sounds like a food thing, right? You wouldn't even think about if this was a date or a hint of a date or something like that. But let's look at this menu a little bit closer over here. All right. So over here, I'm thinking, right, because I know that the Lotus, if you actually look up Lotus 29, this is number 29 on the menu. If you look up Lotus 29, it's a race car. And, you know, when we talk about race cars, we talk about XPR, baby, right? Talk about that oil, right? Stay with me, guys. I'm telling you, this shit's going to get real crazy right now. So, here we got 29. But if you think, well, my little twisty brains right here, we get 29. And we take that two, we flip it. It becomes 5-9. And then we flip it again and we get 9-5. That's our date. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Why am I going with 9 now? Is because you got to remember also that Latin is the main platform that they love to use when they do decoding. So, number 9... And Latin is nueve, okay? That's why we get November. So November, rep, so nine and eleven represents November. Oh my God, that's funny. No, yeah, nine and eleven, nine eleven. So we got nine eleven, which we should see some serious shit in nine eleven, which is November time that we know of, and it's the ninth month as well in the Latin type of format. But look at. Look at, I know I'm, you might think I might be stretching out. So over here, I already showed you that I flipped it this way and I flipped it, I flipped it to, to a five. And then I flipped it again to be nine, five, right? So that's the date, November 5th. Now over here, it says 550, 1955. Okay, five, five. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Again, I might be, maybe I'm stretching, maybe I'm not. But again, Lotus over here. This shit connects to XPR because, like I said, you get Lotus 29, you get the race car back in the days, all right? And then you do your own research over there. Now, hold on. What else was, um, hold on. Now, check this out over here. Again, you know. I was trying to tell you, back in 2001 is when they started, and now this year, 2023, is what I believe that they're trying to finish in my journey. But look when he tweeted this, okay? He tweeted this, this 56. If you don't remember, the number 56 also tackled 
Rodgers on Monday Night Football and ripped his Achilles tendons, okay? 56 is also, you got the 5 and then you got the 6. If you flip the 6 to a 9 and then you flip it again like it did before, you get 9, 5 again, all right? Then you get the jackpot because we got 21, all right? And you flip it, uh, you get 12 here. If you flip it, you get 21. That's the jackpot number, 777, right? And over here again, he's got the 9-8. So remember, I said it's 89 days out, right? So then the 98-89, we flip it. So September here is 9. And 17, you 7 plus 1 is 8. Then you get 9-8. So you get the 89th day, maybe over here. All right, that's November 5th. If you add these up, that's the 89th day. That is the year, 897. So... Who knows? Who knows? Or maybe it was just a coincidence that he tweeted this out at this certain time. All right. But like I said, that particular thing right there is the Lotus car, which represents oil and gas in the Indianapolis racing over here. Five hundred. So to me, that's straight up proton. Thank you, David Schwartz, for actually reconfirming the moon date in November. For my, I'm sorry, not a moon date, but a movement date, a movement date, not moon movement, movement. OK. So I think that's going to be amazing. But let's get back to those tweets over there for a second. Hold on. No, that was from the same guy I showed you before, Dark Crystal, right? I think that was his name. So here you get the perfect storm again. And then I'm going to show you about, you know, Katie. You know Katie the singer, right? Perry the singer. So, you know, she's got a song called Dark Horse, right? If you listen to some of those songs and you look at some of those videos, you might be able to figure it out before I even put out the next video. But that is the perfect storm. Where was the perfect storm? It was on 8-8, okay? That's when the Phoenix started burning. Now, we said the Phoenix was 91. There's 610. If you flip that, you get 19 or 91. Or flip that upside down, you get 9-1, okay? That was the Phoenix. There's your 9-5 again. Why is 4 here? Now, when we talk about baskets, we talk about baskets of currencies, okay? And if we talk about basket of currencies, we could talk about quarters maybe. And we know that... September starts in the fourth quarter, okay? Uh, October, I'm sorry. October starts in the fourth quarter. So November is in the fourth quarter as well. So this this can be, I'm not sure, but I'm saying this can maybe mean that this is November 5th in the fourth quarter, okay? There goes the numbers again. 9-5, flip them again, 9-5. So perfect storm, perfect storm. These are some of the numbers that kind of lead to November time. Okay, same over here. Look at Royal Purple. You know, we went through the oils again. There you got the same numbers again. Fourth quarter, 9-5. There you go again. Same numbers. All right? Jackpot winner. Jackpot winner. I'm telling you, okay? And you know what? I want to make an announcement. Not an announcement, but I wanted to point out that seven ele- um, November 7th is also a 777 day, okay? Maybe we have to remember the 5th of November because that's the last time we're going to remember it. Or maybe the new time we're going to remember it. So who knows? Let's see what fucking happens. All right. But over here, jackpot winners, jackpot winners. And like I said, the November 7th is a 777 day. Because if you think about it, you got 11 and then you have the 7th. Then 7 times 11 is 77. If you get the year, it's another 7. So we're having fun here. If you want to have fun, hang out. Hold on a second. XRP Moon Day. XRP Moon. And you know what's crazy? That the 7th is actually the 91st day after the storms, okay? So that's the Phoenix. That's also the 777 day, all right? 9-1. So the 7th also, that's maybe when it rises. So let's see. We're going to keep our hopes up, all right? We're going to see what happens. Is it Supposedly there's going to be something crazy happening tomorrow, which I don't think so because 923 to me is 9-5. 2 plus 3 is 5. And to me, I believe that that really meant November 5th. Again, to me, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying that's what I feel. All right. Now, over here, we got the Phoenix rises up. There's your 8-8 again, right? And then over here, we got 8 plus 4 is 12. And then 3 is 15. 5 plus 1, right? 15. 5 plus 1 is 6. And if you flip it, it's 9. So you get the month of November again. Maybe the Phoenix rises in November. There's your connection with 88. I don't know. I'm just saying these are some of the numbers, and I'm just trying to work the numbers into the events and stuff like that. I guess time will tell, and we'll see what happens. 
I'm telling you right now, if you like what you're seeing, press that like button, share it, okay? Send that love, send those tips over to I Told You So Wallet, because here we are showing you how to train your eyes, okay? Nobody's doing this. People, other people are just telling you what you want to hear, getting you hyped, holding on to those coins that they're going to talk about. Here we talk about real shit. Even if we're wrong, we admit that we were wrong. And like I said, watch my old videos. I, haven't, I didn't go and race nothing. I spoke about other coins, found other ones that I fell in love with even more, and now I'm speaking about those coins. So, hold on. So here over here, you got, there's your 9-5 again, there's your year, the year in the 7, then your 9-5, there's your month, and then your date. Over here, friend, 3, 4, 5, 6, there's your 6, you flip it, you get 9, hopefully it's November time, and that's when we see some freaking appreciation. I don't know. Watch out for Metal Dow on that Monday, November, that Monday over there, eleven six. Watch out for Metal Dow. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? We'll find out. Over here, you got the triple sevens again. All right? Get the triple sevens again, the fourth quarter. So the 89th day, right, from 88, from August 8th, 89th day out, fourth quarter maybe, triple sevens. And over here, you get four plus the one is five. You get five, and then you flip that six to a nine. You get the nine, five again. So, you know, there's some few things that kind of just add up around that one time. All right? This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing, baby. Let's go. Keep it up. Over here, you got So It Begins. Maybe, who knows? That might be maybe November 6th. Just November 6th might be a date. All right? You get that Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And the Tuesday, actually, funny enough, that Tuesday is the seven day, which makes it the triple seven. So, boom, here it is. One of the last tweets over here, not to get too crazy, but here's the November date. All right, and there's your November. If you flip it, you get the 89, and there's your 88, okay? There's your 88 again. Maybe this was two. Maybe this meant the second half. Because you could take the five and flip it to two. Maybe that means the second half, okay? And that means 88, because the eight August was the second half of the year. And then maybe it goes from 8-8, eight, eight, and then it goes to 8-9, all right? Now, I'm just staying bullish, okay? Just stay with me. And there's been words and been talks that you need to be buying. Not, I'm not telling you guys. I'm saying there's talks around the social space stating you better grab XPR before it's too late. I'm not saying where I heard it, but it's floating around. So you do what you want with the information, Again, I told you, remember, make sure you understand about that giant information, the, right? The sleeping giant out there in Hawaii and that in the movie, because then next I'll be showing a few other clips. But these are, I showed you the dates already. I showed you why I'm bullish, okay? This is what it is. Those are the dates. Something pops off with the banks, and I'm thinking uh, probably Friday the 13th, being that it's in Libra. And then we got the Scorpio, the stinger, right? That's November time, November 5th, 6th, 7th. We're in the Scorpio season. Scorpio's got the stinger, so I think people are going to fucking really feel the sting on this particular asset. Again, I'm a storyteller, okay? We're just having fun, and I'm just telling stories over here. If you're loving what you're hearing, send a little love. Press the like button. Subscribe. Share it. Get it out there and let them know. If you want to release yourself from the beast, it might be time to get on the train and hurry up. Thank you for liking, watching, and subscribing. Bully Bear out.